Hello beautiful people. So I am here outside Whole Foods because I'm going to pick up my very first Amazon Flex Whole Foods delivery, but it's not for another hour. I just came early to kind of see where to go and how the process works. But this video, I wanted to talk about my first Amazon Flex block. This happened a week ago. I had three in a row and let me just say it's such a stressful process. I watched so many YouTube videos and tutorials about how to do it and the first three I did were the logistics or just like the package delivery and I want to get into that. So I showed up at the warehouse about an hour early. I parked down the street and I continued watching tutorial videos on how to do it. Uh, at two, say my shift was at at 4 40 I drove down to the warehouse got in line because there's a line and then while you're in that line probably like five or ten minutes before your block time the Amazon worker will come out and they'll say oh what's your name da, da, da. they'll check you off a list and then they'll walk you into the warehouse to tell you guys like okay this car has a three-hour block this car has a four-hour block so that they can arrange it inside before you go in so after we wait in that line, we get into these lanes outside and it's like five lanes that hold four cars. So it'd be like, get in lane five, spot two. So sit there and at the time of your block, they'll let you go in. This is for my specific warehouse. You'll go in and you drive into the warehouse and you go down to the end. They have all the carts and packages and stuff for your block next to your car and once you drive in you have to park turn off your car wait until they say that you can get out the car and then they say you have 10 minutes i've only had 10 minutes <laughs> to pack up my car so this first time i went i was just looking at what everyone else was doing i got out the car i had the app open so i can scan the sheet that says how many stops and all that stuff you have to scan the sheet before you do anything and my app actually froze. And so while it's freezing, I'm like freaking out. And the woman there, she gave me a vest. And I'm like, should I just like close it out and restart it? And she's like, yeah, you should do that because you only have 10 minutes. So I close it out, restart it. I start scanning all the boxes. I'm just throwing them in the car, not literally, but just putting them in the car, no order, no rhyme, no reason. And then I had 40, sev 47 packages, 47 stops for my very first delivery. So I have a bunch of boxes, just throwing them back there, throwing them back there. All the envelopes, just put them in the thing. I barely get into the car before the 10 minutes is up. So I get in the car and the woman's like, okay, you have a minute to left. And she's like, if you want some water, go get water. They have like these little freezers that you can get water from. So I went to grab a water, came back to the car, was waiting and they said, okay, Time's up, get in your cars. Then they say, lane five, turn on your engines. Lane five, you can go ahead and exit. And then you exit. And once I exited, I went out of the parking lot because they had a lot of DSP vans, like the regular Amazon delivery vans in there. So I didn't want to block anybody's spot. So I went like around the corner to an empty parking lot and I got out. I had my Sharpie marker and I rescanned all the packages and wrote the stop numbers on them. And then I organized them in my car. So, passenger seat was 1 through 10 or 1 through 20 depending on how many envelopes I had. I was doing envelopes and just packages in the back. So 1 through 10 or 1 through 20 in the passenger. Uh, 21 through 30 or yeah 21 through 30 in I just got nervous okay sorry so 10 to 20 21 through 30 and behind the passenger and then 31 through 40 and then 41 plus in the back 31 through 40 would be behind me and 41 plus in the back but for this one it was just so many boxes so i kept having to go in my trunk and they say to kind of just leave a lot of packages in the back like if they're big boxes and stuff but for my car i can't get into my trunk unless my car is off and restarting like starting my car up over and over again takes a lot of time so I can't do that but for this day I had all the boxes in the bag 
envelopes in the front they had the stop number and everything which is cool but the thing is i had a lot of apartment buildings a lot of apartment oh it was horrible and because i was working the night shift a lot of people were either asleep or not answering their phones so i was getting stuck at the gate i had to piggyback off of people coming in the gate or i was delivering to apartments that like or gated communities that had houses so i couldn't just walk or get in any other way but i found that a lot of the apartments they had gates in the front but if you parked on the side of the apartments you can go through the back so that's what i had to do a lot and it's a longer journey doing that and finding the actual apartment numbers is really hard so i had a really hard time doing that 90 percent of my route was apartments and i had to like put my hazards on on the side of the street where you're not supposed to park and then like run through the back through people's backyards technically i guess and then find the apartments and then sometimes i had to go back to my car and get another package because it's in the same community it was horrible i called support i don't know how many times the people the customers codes weren't working or they were old or the machine itself just wasn't picking up the codes i don't know if it's like after a certain time you just can't use a code but it had so many problems my shift it was five to nine i finished at 10 30 and when i finished my route i had two packages left before my nine or before i think they gave me like an hour extra to be in the app to scan and everything so say like 10 o'clock i was on my second to last package and I was lost in the apartment complex and I literally had to ask residents like, where is this building? It took like 20 minutes to do that. But by that time, the app had already closed out my block. So I had no access to know or like to scan or contact the customer. So I literally was just going off of the address on the package. And I delivered that and then I had to do my last one, which is an apartment. And I've had to jump a lot of fences, let me say that. And it was very painful. And the only reason I did is because they dinged you for not delivering the packages and returning them. So I was like, no returns, not happening. So I did jump a few gates. I definitely did. Very painful. I was exhausted by the end. It was only a four hour shift, but it felt like eight hours. And immediately after that shift, I was like, I'm never doing this again. This is the worst job ever. I'm so tired, so exhausted. But then I was addicted to the money because it's like over a hundred dollars for four hours. So I kept looking for spots, looking for spots, and I ended up getting one the next day. That day was a lot easier, it was more homes. When I'm parked in front of a home, I don't turn off my car. I just leave it, run, drop it off. That day I finished 12 minutes early. The next day I finished 30 minutes early. And from the first to second day, things I changed is I put more of the packages for the earlier stops into my passenger seat whether on the floor or on the seat and then i have just envelopes here in a basket i just put as many as i could up here and um i did have a snafu like where i numbered it wrong because i thought using the driver's aid stickers it shows you stop dash package number and i was like oh yeah okay if it says one one that's your second stop because they count the warehouse as your first stop so i was like okay so this is stop two so i just started writing based off of that because i didn't want to rescan the packages and spend more time and i ended up marking one of the packages as lost because i wrote the wrong stop number because i did not scan it to find the stop number so that was a little mistake i made and then i got lucky with piggybacking through the apartments there was an apartment that had like the arm that comes down after someone goes through the gate and I just had to like maneuver, like <laughs> I had to go past it because it wasn't working. Um, this time more codes did work. The one clicks worked and some people answered their phones, which is really good. Um, sometimes the call box wouldn't like work. They couldn't hear me. Um, I had a delivery where the person wasn't answering their call box, their phone call through the call box. And sometimes the person's name won't even be in the call box, so you just have to keep texting, calling them. If you call support, they're just going to do the same exact thing as you did, and they're going to take forever to do it. And they're not really helpful at all. I remember on my third day, I had looked at my itinerary. This is when I'm getting better at kind of planning out my route. This day, I, you know, packed everything or organized everything then scanned it because my phone is frozen so i just started organizing stuff in my trunk and then 
scanning it and moving it later. I was really fast this time around. This is the third day. And then I went to park. I gave myself five minutes to reorganize my trunk. I did it, it was good. All my packages were there. And then I actually looked at my itinerary and I saw that it said I had a package due to be delivered at five, which my shift was starting at five and they don't let you in the warehouse till five. And so I called support and they were like, oh, are you stopped? I was like, no, I just started my shift. Like, I can't stop right now. <laughs> like, not in the beginning. I can't put myself already behind. So they're like, yeah, we can't help you until you stop. And I was like, well, you know what? You guys will see that my shift didn't start till five. There's no way I can deliver till five. So I'll just call you guys when I'm done for the day. And that's what I did because what's going to change from now to then if I didn't deliver it at five? And at this point, it was already 530 because we get in the warehouse at five, we get like 10 minutes, I gave myself five minutes, like it was a whole thing. Um, but that's the day I learned to reroute your stops because not only did I have a five o'clock one, I had two six o'clock deliveries that were supposed to be there, you know, at six. And then I had nine o'clock and I had 11.59s. So that was the first day I actually looked at when the packages are supposed to be there. That first day, I guess I got lucky because I didn't get any marks. Um, for late packages or anything but that day I was like okay let me go to these sixes first and then I know I'm going to be early to deliver so I'm not going to worry about going to the nines before the elevens I'm just going to follow the route of whichever is closer so that's what I did and I ended up doing the 5 p.m one last because it was the furthest out it tried to take me their navigation tried to take me 30 minutes out the way so that I can come back towards a warehouse which for a lot of people that would work but my warehouse is nowhere near where I live so I was more worried about getting the packages there on time so I did the ones that were due at six and then whatever ones were in the area and then the last one I did was five o'clock one because it was the furthest out and the route took me to that one last anyway and it was actually closer to my house um and I did have one person tell me like, oh, it's already here. I just bought this an hour ago. And I was like, really? I mean, it's your lucky day. <laughs> like I can't see when people order anything. I just see when it's due. So it was surprising, but at the same time I was stressing about finishing early. Um, but like I said, that day I finished like 38, nine minutes early, which was amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting the hang of it. But my general consensus after the first day was like, I hate this, I'm so exhausted no one was helpful none of these codes work i can't get into the gates i'm having to go around apartment complexes or jump fences like this is too much i hate it but then i was like dang it's so much easier to just do a four hour block for hundreds of dollars rather than trying to do doordash or uber eats for hours and hours and hours just to get to a hundred dollars for the day because that's only four hours say i work like nine to twelve hours usually for doordash and uber eats or mostly uber eats because I just started doing DoorDash, so for Uber Eats, it would take me about like 12 hours just to get like $100 because my market is trash. So I was like, wow, getting this in four hours would be amazing. And so that's why I've been like addicted to doing the Amazon Flex ones. Um, so I did those three and I've been looking for more, but I went on vacation and they were like giving me ones for when I was gone. And I was like, no, I'm missing all the money. Um, but when I looked this morning, cause I was trying to get one for today. I just came back yesterday for my trip. I couldn't find anything. And then finally Whole Foods popped up and I was like, let's do it. This one's only an hour and a half block, but I've never done it before. So I came earlier to kind of get a gist of how to do it. Cause I don't want to be late. Cause now I'm not new anymore. Cause I already done three blocks. So they're not going to be lenient in my standing. So I need to know what I'm doing. Um, and then I have one in two days for Whole Foods too. So I haven't seen, um, since I got back, I haven't seen any package delivery ones. I've just seen Whole Foods. And a lot of people say they like Whole Foods better because it's less stops and less packages. But, you know. Um, and just to say this, because I forgot to say it, my first block for Amazon Flex, 47 packages, 47 stops. Second day, it was 38 packages 34 stops and the third day was 27 packages 24 stops or something like that and I learned this trick from this youtuber here I couldn't find anything when I specifically looked up how to get less packages 
but she basically said to check in late and get there like not late after your block starts but not 15 minutes early because if you check in early they're just going to give you a bunch of boxes so if you come in a little later like 10 minutes before your block or five minutes before your block starts then they'll just give you less packages and it seems to have worked um, sometimes they said that they would not have any boxes left and then you can just go home and you get paid for it so that's what i'm hoping for um i don't know how people get these blocks and they go get food and drinks and stuff because for me i don't drink i don't eat or anything i'm just going 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 until the block is done but maybe that comes with experience but yeah those three days i just it was work 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 my phone is literally dying because it was in my hand the whole time i learned to keep like a little flashlight i've seen somebody with like a head flashlight but i don't have one of those and i'm not looking to you know spend extra money but what i will keep because i do work at night i'll keep this little flashlight i think you can get this at like dollar tree and i'll like put this over the box so i can scan it like this i'll put it over the box so i can scan it because it's dark outside and i can't use my flash while i'm scanning because it's using your camera uh another tip I got from, I think her name is Gig Mama or Gig Mom. She said the Sharpie thing to write the stop number. That helps so much because even if you have the driver's aid sticker, it's little and I need to see like big number one. Okay, stop one, let's go. Um, and then just having them here. Uh, I have a whole list. I'm probably gonna do a different video about tips and tricks just based on my experience doing the package Amazon Flex for three blocks in a row because I can't see it on my phone right now and I think I'm gonna go in soon to start this block. Um, but those are the tips I can think of right now. Also just keeping your car on if you're in a safe area and in front of a house, not an apartment, because it takes a lot more time to turn it off and turn it back on. Especially for my car, I have to like hold and long press it sometimes and then double tap after that just to get it off. And if you have a car like mine where the trunk can't be open when your car is on. You have to turn off the car, go to the trunk, open the trunk. Oh, I just try to keep everything here. Um, she just in my car. Okay. Um, also, having the packages like laid on the side and have it facing you where you can see because I would have all the packages stacked in my trunk but then as i'm driving they're sliding everywhere so say 25 was over here now it's over here where the 40s are you know um so that's a big thing and just bringing baskets and stuff for this block i brought like bags so if they have more than one i can have it in a big bag and not have to go back and forth for the package one or for envelopes and stuff i'll put them here for like have these baskets these baskets you know so yeah and then when i'm done with my amazon flex blocks i go ahead and do doordash and uber eats i just got my doordash bag and it came with a mask and hand sanitizer which is so awesome and i also got the red card i don't think i'm going to use it because so far the doordash is super consistent i'm already getting orders before you know I head to the next hot spot so yeah i'm excited to keep going and hopefully everything's good i'll probably do another video like i said about the tips and tricks because i can't see my list right now and also doing like uber eats and doordash separate video but yeah i hope that was helpful i thought about recording the whole first day thing but i was already so stressed i had so much anxiety my stomach was in knots and it has been every single time I've done an Amazon block because I just know like if I get apartments, the codes are probably wrong. Support is no help at all. And yeah, it's a time crunch, you know. But yeah, definitely look at your itinerary too to make sure that you're not just following theirs and then you have your last package that was supposed to be due right when you got the packages at 5.30 for your 5 p.m. block, you know. So yeah, those are the biggest things um that i can think of right now and i hope it was so helpful and i will talk to you guys later Bye.